The first Tuesday of 2023, giving Hoop fans a full slate of action on both sides of the river. Let's start in the MAC. Three and two assumption hosting four and one Davenport West. Second quarter, visitors catching fire. Devontae Bradford showing off some range. A pretty step back jumper. Falcons with a two point lead. A few trips later, it's Jermylan Gardner getting free and draining the trifecta. Falcons build a five point lead. West would finish the half. On an 11-0 run, Landon Winston to steal the dish to Idris Thomas for two more. Falcons by nine at recess. Third quarter, here come the Knights. Damon Jackson finds some room on the baseline, backs down the jumper. Assumption back within six. Then in transition, it's Rico Bird. A great look ahead to, ja to Jackson for the bucket and the bump. Assumption back within three at that point. The Knights outscore West 19 to nothing. In the game's final five minutes, Assumption earns a hard fought 60 to 50 victory. Another nice matchup at Pleasant Valley. The 4 1 Spartans welcoming 3 and 2 Davenport Central. Second quarter home team with the lead adding to it. Koi Kipper gets in the lane and rattles home the jumper. Spartans up 16 10. Blue Devils answer back. Goliath Vargas eventually gets the ball. The sophomore sights, shoots, bullseye. Central back within just six. Spartans, though, respond. Max Molzowski attacking and then scooping it in high off the window with the left hand. Pleasant Valley back up by eight. A few trips later, it's Mozowski with the miss, but Elijah, Eli, Elijah Wallace, that is, there to help a teammate out. Pleasant Valley up 24-13 at the break. Spartans win this one 55-40. They're now 5-1 and one in the MAC play. Over to the pit we go. North Scott welcoming Muscatine to town. First quarter home team with a great start. Kayvon Phillips working hard inside, getting the turnaround jumper to go. Lancers with a 6-0 start. More from the home team, this time in transition. It's a wide open Tyler Watkins knocking down the triple. Lancers up by 11. Second quarter, Muskies get something going from a familiar name. Luke Wieskamp finds the lane, takes it himself. Muscatine cuts the lead down to seven. Lancers have an answer. Drew Kilberg finds... Tyler Girardi from behind the arc. He splashes home the three of his own. Uh, the lead back up to 10, but not for long. Muscatine in transition. Caleb Bettis, the long pass ahead to Wieskamp for two more. Muscatine cuts the lead down to six before the half. North Scott wins this one, though. 56-47, your final score. More boys scores from the MAC. Bettendorf improves to 4-2 and two in the MAC with a 33-point victory. And it's North over Central Witt. By 16. On the girls' side of things, unbeaten Pleasant Valley on the road at Davenport Central, the third ranked team in the state with a great start. Reagan Pagiano with the look ahead to Jesse Clemens for the buckets. Pleasant Valley up by three. Central, though, would answer back. Emily Clemenson with the hoop inside. Lady D's down just one early, but it's all Pleasant Valley after that. Hallie Vice to Panaggio for the bucket in transition. Lady Spartans up 9-3, then it's Vice grabbing the loose ball and going right to the rim herself. She gets the hoop and the harm. Pleasant Valley up 15-3 at that point. Lady Spartans cruise in this one. They win it 74-24, your final score. Let's get back to Assumption. The first game of that doubleheader, the boy-girl doubleheader. It's West at Assumption. Lady Knights with a great start. Pass ahead to Maddie Nige for the bucket. Knights up 11-0. Later in the first, Annika Kutula dribbles her way in through traffic and knocks in two more. It's a 13 point game. Second quarter, more from the home team. Jesse Wardlow finds Addie Voss from the wing. She banks it in for three more. Knights with a big lead. Then check out the ball movement right here before the half. Lexi Hayes puts it up and in. Or she finds, I should say, Leah Morrow who scores. Assumption up 22 0 at that point. This one, all assumption. 51 to 10, your final. More max scores for you. Davenport North gets an impressive road win up at Central DeWitt, 77 29. The Wildcats finishing with three girls in double figures. They're now 5 and 1 in MAC play. Also in the MAC, it's Bettendorf getting the victory over Clinton, 57 24. North Scott goes on the road and knocks off Muscatine, 63 to 44. Let's hop the river to Illinois. State ranked Rock Ridge hosting Riverdale. A three rivers battle, second quarter Rockets out running early on. Cameron Bonsack finding Landon Bull for the lay-in. Home team built a 13-point lead. Next trip, it's Chase Whiteman. Sights, shoots, bullseye. 
Rockridge up 31-15, and the senior was just getting warmed up. Later, it's Landon Wheatley driving baseline, finding Whiteman for three more. Rockets lead up to 19. The Rams look to stay close. Ethan Cadu with a nice look inside to Jake Willems for the bucket. Riverdale gets a little closer, but this one, all Rock Ridge from start to finish. Whiteman slicing and scoring two more of his 21 on the evening. Rock Ridge rolls 61-33. Your final score. Other scores from Illinois. Rock Island steps out of Western Big Six play and earns a big road victory down at Peoria High. And it's Princeton all over Kiwani. 78-48, your final in that one.